as the month of August wears on, we'll begin to see a bit more in terms of uh, summer showers, particularly as head towards uh, September. But overall, it seems that right now at the rain gauge, it's 250 millimeters at Piarco, not getting as close to the 250, but we still have several days yet to run. There's an upper level trough towards the north, and this is basically keeping conditions damp along a parts of the Leeward Islands. That will continue to do so as we go through Wednesday as it shifts towards the north, and then we'll begin to see a finger of cloud coming down into the Windward Islands as we get towards the end of Thursday going into Friday. But there's some dry air in there around as well. So that will be the mixture, that will be the balancing act as we go through the next few days. For those of you in Tobago through tomorrow, look for the sunshine to come through. First thing, there will be some low-level clouds, a few brief showers early on, but overall that should begin to fade as we go through the day. For Trinidad, it should be a settled night, but once we get the heating going throughout the morning, especially along northern Trinidad, you'll notice the clouds building, similarly to what you saw today, some showers coming into St. Augustine, pushing down towards the Port of Spain. All of the while, you notice that moisture piling up around the northwestern peninsula, and there's a slight chance of a thunder shower as well being heard, especially as you go through the early afternoon. So for San Fernando down towards point 14, you will see the cloudiness building first thing in the morning and then the showers likely as you go into the afternoon. So it will be steamy at times, looking at 34 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 32 degrees Celsius in Tobago following a warm night. Now for Tobago on the Thursday, there's just that finger of cloud that we've been talking about, but not much is set to come out of that. We get into some dry weather again on Friday and then another round of showers expected on Saturday for Tobago. Now for Trinidad, similarly, we'll begin to see the clouds as well beginning to build maybe towards the end of the working week, definitely for Saturday after a few bouts of a sunshine and showers there. For mariners as well as for boaters, not much is happening out at sea. Smooth conditions for the most part are short east northeasterly swells, and we'll continue to see those east southeasterly winds gentle for the most part, maybe getting up to 15 knots. You could see a few white caps if you're out in the Atlantic shorelines there. For the Eastern Caribbean, it's mostly settled, no systems to talk about. We do have a one system which is still there that is a Harvey, or basically the remnants of Harvey, which uh, may well become another tropical storm, we gain tropical storm strength as it gets over the warm waters of uh, the Gulf of Mexico, but before it does so, it will bring flooding rains to the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, and then pushing up towards uh, Texas and uh, the Gulf Coast there, they could be seeing some flooding rains by the time they get to the end of the working week and into the weekend. For the Bahamas, they're still seeing this area of low pressure, still bringing some downpours at times, and also the potential for flash flooding there. But for the rest of the Greater Antilles, it will be mostly settled. For Kingston, cloudy, a few showers likely, but overall it will keep the temperatures down at 32 degrees Celsius, but it will be quite hot in Port-au-Prince at 36, with just a brief shower or two there, as well as for Santo Domingo. The northern tip of the Leeward Islands will remain cloudy under that upper level trough. So looking at temperatures, maybe about 32 degrees Celsius, but it will feel quite humid and sticky with all of those showers coming by and not much of a wind out there. We will pick up a bit of a breeze further south you go, out towards Barbados, into St. Vincent, as well as Grenada. Here, the ridge of high pressure will build, and we could just see a few patchy clouds at times, and maybe just that brief shower or two coming through Wednesday. So that's your weather, and that's it for me.